but I want to lay out so bad and get some sun on a lazy day. And it's just windy and cloudy. Like, look at the palm trees. Makes it really, really hard. It really, really gets some sun. Look at here. Look, it's windy, ain't it, girlfriend? It is windy out there. You got your Christmas toys? <laughs> Good girl. What's up guys? Like I said, it's a really, really weird day. I just decided to give up on the lay now, put some real clothes on, and I'm gonna cook some elk, which is also cool. Getting sun is cool, but cooking elk is cooler. But well, besides that, I'm gonna move on with the day and figure out something to do because it's not a good boat day, unfortunately. And you guys know all I really want to do is go fishing. It is a Friday though, and I'm getting dinner later with my cousin, so that'll be fun. But I am gonna get this meal prepping going down. All right, guys, excuse the fact that the dishwasher is running. We're gonna start cooking up some elk. Okay, had to delete some stuff off my SD card. That is like the story of my life as a YouTuber. I'm always deleting things off my SD card, deleting things off my laptop, deleting things off my phone, editing in different places because other places are full. It's a real struggle. Okay, so here it is, a pound of elk burger from my 2017 elk, defrosted in the freezer. A big pan. Coconut oil spray. I'm going to use some of this and also a little bit of olive oil. Let's throw it on, shall we? looks good. I did not get any beef fat added to this elk when I got it processed. Looking back, I probably could have since now I'm doing the keto diet, but a lot of people need the beef fat to like the taste of the wild game. I personally just like the taste of the wild game and don't need fat in it. I'll only add seasonings when I'm cooking certain things that need to be seasoned away to taste like that. But I'm curious, if you guys could please comment below and let me know if you get beef fat added, how much beef fat you get added, or if you just don't get any fat added at all. And this counts for if you do it yourself as well. Obviously, um, I'm usually bouncing around to school, going on different hunts, don't always have time to um, process it myself. Sometimes I get it in the, in like, the earlier months, the animals, when it's still warm outside and I'm at my trailer and I have nowhere to keep it. I don't have a fridge or freezer, I just have a cooler and it's it's good timing to get things to the processor as fast as possible. So that's usually why I do that. Um, but I'm curious, do you guys process your meat yourself? Do you add fat? Do you get your meat processor to add fat or do you just do it no fat added like I do? Let me know. Okay, thanks. All the spatulas are in the dishwasher, so we're using this little thing. Okay, it's cooking really, really good. It'll be done in no time. That's one of the nice things about cooking ground meat is it really doesn't take a long time at all. Let me show you the seasoning I'm gonna put on it and let me uh, give you a little information as well. Like I've told you guys, I've been doing the keto diet for, this is all in my I have a confession video by the way. I've been doing the keto diet for over a month now. I'd have to look back and see about when I started because I don't remember. Well over a month and one of the meals that I eat the most frequently is three ounces of elk, 
um, 2.6 ounces of avocado, which I make into a guacamole. I add nothing bad to it. Um, just seasonings mostly and like jalapeno. And then half a lemon squeezed on top. It is heavenly. It tastes like a taco without all the non-keto parts of a taco. It's really good. If you have sour cream, you could add sour cream on it. That's a good fat for you when you're on the keto diet. Um, it's really, really good. Hold on. Okay, so that's really close to being ready to add the seasoning, like I told you guys. Where was I? Anyway, this is one of my favorite things to eat on the keto diet, and I will eat it quite frequently throughout the day or different days over and over again. And I just package it in little three ounce things and I weigh it with my little food scale and eat like every two hours or so. Okay, so this is the seasoning bad ombre taco fire blend. So there's two different types of blends I will show you. This one I'm going to move on to when this one is done. I've kind of been savoring this because I don't want it to end. I'm definitely going to get some more. But this is the Bad Ombre Taco Blend from Tacticalories. You guys may have seen I've done two other videos with Tacticalories seasonings where, where I've used the Carving House, I've used the Honey Habanero. Now I'm showing you guys a secret to making elk amazing. All you need is two tablespoons of this. They are the exact same thing, except this is mild and this is hot. Um, Eric did try some of this and he said with one tablespoon it wasn't too hot. With two tablespoons it was a little hot for him. He's not too into the spicy thing. Two tablespoons is just perfect for me where I can really taste the little bit of spice but it's not too spicy and it's really 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 good. Like I don't think I could ever go back to a different type of taco seasoning and that's saying something because I've tried them all. Organic, Whole Foods, blah blah blah, all the different ones. This is by, my, by far my favorite. And if you guys do remember from my other videos, Tacticalories is made all small batch style, made here in America. The guy that owns it is a super, super cool dude, and he's cool enough to give me a discount code with you guys. So if you want to try it yourself, get this shipped for under $10 load in some other ones while you're at it. They do have some cool kits as well that you can get multiple of them and save yourself some money. But anyway, you can use the code BRIDGET10 and save 10% off. So I highly recommend it. I will put a link below in the description box with the code if you want to try it. But no lie, I use a different type of their seasoning every single day. So I recommend getting a batch for yourself, seeing if you like it. Start supporting the small business rather than the McCormick brand stuff like that you know what I mean that's why I'm here telling you about it now and I'm gonna use it so it does tell you what to do on the back brown meat in large skillet stir two to three tablespoons bad ombre into two in two to three cups of water continue to stir while pouring over meat so I usually measure it stir it up pour it in bring meat to a boil reduce heat and simmer five minutes so really easy to follow Let's do it.
we're done. You want most of the liquid to be done. The stove's off, but let's move it over here so it's not on the hot spot anymore. Um, yeah, you want most of the water to be gone. The rest will kind of soak up, as long as it looks like this. The rest will soak in to the elk. Whoa, getting my camera steamy. But this is perfect. I put it in there with the water, mixed it around, got it to a boil, then let it simmer for five minutes. And here we are. Delicious. The lemon takes it to the next level, but so does the taco seasoning. That's what makes this like so simple and so enjoyable is the Tacta Calories taco seasoning. Perfect amount of spice. What's up guys? I am back in Utah. It's kind of sad. I'm actually cooking some fish right now um, But I just wanted to close out the video that you guys just watched of pretty much something that I eat every single day of my life 3 ounces of elk 2.6 ounces of avocado Dash of lemon. It's so good. It's so good for you It's such a great thing to eat on the keto diet and now that I'm back in Utah It's time for me to get back into my normal routine. So there's gonna be a lot more cooking videos coming up. I'm actually making one right now as I cook this fish. But I wanted to close this video out and say thanks for watching you guys. Um, I do highly recommend all of Tactic Calories' different seasonings. I've used them all and they do make a really big difference in wild game and I highly recommend them for, I recommend you trying them for your next time you're making a taco, anything, whether it's out of beef, turkey, chicken, or wild game. I highly recommend it. So give small business a support. Helping to the calories out also helps me out since I work with them. I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned. There's two amazing fishing videos coming up and then two amazing catch and cook videos coming up. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.